Good morning, Loveland Tigers. This is Mrs. Mayor this morning, along with... Sam. And... Owen. And we're back to share another book this morning. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mrs. Mayor, it is Saturday. We do not do school on Saturday. You're going to Saturday school. <laughs> So if you don't feel like watching us today, you can wait and watch us on a school day. But we thought today would be the perfect day to share this book. So um, we were on a hike the other day, a really muddy hike with our dogs. And we started talking about things that you would wear or wouldn't wear um, on this muddy hike. And it gave Sam a great connection, which was that he could connect to this book that we had taken to the beach one time. And the book was, If You Ever Want to Bring a Piano to the Beach, Don't. So, it started us thinking about things you would wear or not wear on a muddy hike. And then we remembered when we got home that we, there is also, and if you ever want to bring your alligator to school, Don't. And if you ever want to bring a circus to the library, Don't. Yes. So we have all of these books by Elise Parsley, and um, so this morning we thought that we would share one. And the one that we are choosing to share is the one about the beach, and mostly because today is the first day of our spring break, and a lot of people are not getting to leave for their beach vacation. And some people are feeling super sad. And some people are feeling very disappointed or angry because they cannot go to the beach. So we thought this would be a great book to share today um, since you might not be going to the beach where you thought you would be going. So here we go. We're going to read this book to you and then we're going to do a little activity today. So if you'd like to join us for the activity part after the book, then you may want to get something to write with and something to write on, either in your notebook or on a blank piece of paper. The boys chose a blank piece of paper today. Um, so, here we go. If you ever want to bring a piano to the beach... Don't! Don't. Alright, here we go. If you ever want to bring a piano to the beach... Don't! don't. Oh, sorry, Sam. By Elise Parsons. If your mom says to get ready to play at the beach, she means with a boat or a frisbee or a shovel. She's not talking about a piano. Whoops. If you roll the piano out at anyway, she'll tell you, you better not lose it. You'll tell her that it's okay. You hold on tight to your piano and keep it neat and clean, and you'll even promise to push it to the beach yourself. Cross your heart. But on the way, your arms will get heavy. Then your legs will get draggy. So you'll find the perfect way to move the piano along. When you feel rested again, you'll push it again. Or your mom will make you. <laughs> I kind of have a text-to-text -text connection here. It reminds me of if you give a mouse a cookie, cookie or a pig a cookie. pancake or a cat a cupcake or a moose a muffin. Um, once you're at the beach, you'll need to make sure the piano still works. Finally, you'll stop for a lunch break. The seagulls will want to share your egg and cheese sandwich. <laughs> this, you know, is not good for the piano. But you'll know just what to do. Bath time! You'll splash. You'll splish, the piano will bob up and down and up and down, then up and away. And out of reach. By now, of course, you'll wish you had played with a boat or a frisbee 
or a shovel at the beach instead of a piano. By now, you'll wish you had played with your baby sister instead of a piano. You'll be so mad that you'll want to just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. Borrow your brother's fishing line and cast it far, far out to catch your drifting piano. I don't go in the water anymore. <laughs> then, when you reel the line in, you might get your piano back. Or you might get... A shell. A shell. A boat. A frisbee. Or a shovel. Yeah, if you ever want to bring your piano to the beach, don't. don't. You might lose it. But you never know what you might find. So she found a shell, which could be a shovel. The end. So this book got us thinking that we could easily write our own. So it doesn't matter where um, if you are a kindergartner or a fourth grader or whatever, um, you can write your own with us. And we're going to start with a little brainstorming. So we are going to start by taking our piece of paper or your um, paper in your notebook, and we're going to fold it in half. Or if you have a notebook page, you might just draw a line across your notebook. So you might just draw a line or you might fold it in half. This way, open it back up and trace the fold so you have a line. And on the top half of our notebook page, we are going to, on the top half, we're going to write some places. So you'll notice that this story was about the beach. This one was about the library no. or school, I'm sorry. And this one was about the library. So we are going to write some places we're familiar with. So we might write things like the beach or the library or a school, or we might think of some other things. So we're just going to make a list. Oh, oh and what's one you're writing? Um, I'm going to write the park. Okay. That's what I was writing too. What are you writing, Sam? Um, store. Oh, a store. Okay. I might steal that idea and write that too. I'm also going to write a museum. Those are cool places to visit. Yeah. I might also write a pool. What else would you write? I don't know. Hmm. Mm. House? A house, yeah. sure. What about a restaurant? Yeah. All right. All right. Any other ideas that you have, you make sure you jot down on the top part of your paper. So we're writing like this on the top part of our paper. And now we're going to move to the bottom and we're going to think about things that would be silly to take to some of these places. Right? So we might say an elephant. Computer. A computer. We might say, what else might be silly? Hmm. A bear. Oh, a bear. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. I might say... A fish. A fish, okay. I might say an alarm clock. Mm, what else could we say that might be silly? Hmm. I think we had the idea when we were hiking about to wear a tuxedo, didn't we? Tuxedo at the park would be silly, so I might write that down because that's kind of funny. Any other ideas that you have that you might want to not take to some of the places above, then write down below. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our really good brainstorming ideas, and we are going to circle two. We're going to circle one place, whichever one you want, and we're going to circle one thing that might be silly to go there. All right? And so you should have a, a story now, right? You're going to say, um, mine is, if you want to take an elephant to the pool, don't. What do you got, Sam? Um, if you ever want to bring, um, bring a bear to the store, don't. Oh, and what do you got? If you want to take um, a computer to the park, 
All right. So now we have a really great title for our story. So if you are really good at drawing, you might just draw your story. If you're really good at writing, you might be ready to take a challenge with us. And so here is the challenge. If you are ready, so a lot of us, um, uh, LPS Tiger Cubs, have talked about um, persuasion and giving an opinion of something and maybe persuading someone to do something your way. That's kind of what this story does. It's persuading us or convincing us not to take a piano to the beach. And she gives us some reasons. Boys, what are some reasons she gives us to not take the piano to the beach? Because it might be too heavy. It might be too heavy. It could um, get lost. It could get lost, yeah. What about these birds? What was the one reason? Oh, um, it could get dirty. Dirty, because the birds might want to take it home, right? And then it might not, when she finally gets it there, she has to test it for it working. So it might not work. work. So she kind of gives us about four ideas. If you want the challenge to this activity, you could try to give four ideas why not to do yours. If you're like, oh, Mrs. Mayor, I just want to think of one. Okay, great. Draw a picture and think of one idea why you might not want yours. And what we're going to do today is we're going to work on ours, and we want you to work on yours whenever you do it, and post a picture in the comments of what yours ends up looking like. Either tell us the story in a video or post us a picture of what you have. So I already did mine just kind of as an example, so I'm going to show it to you. I did, if you ever want to bring an elephant to the pool, don't. And I divided my paper into four and then drew my picture in the middle. You might draw your picture first and then write your words, however you want to lay it out. And I took the challenge and I thought of four reasons why. And let me tell you, if, you, if the pool is small, not many other people would fit. When the elephant gets in, the mud he uses to protect his skin from sunburn will make the water dirty. Number three was, if the elephant wants a drink, he might suck up a lot of the pool water. And number four, when the elephant does a cannonball, the pool will be empty and we will have to find somewhere else to play. So that is the reasons why you should not want bring an elephant to the pool. So you'll see I had my list and I selected them and I made the, it right on the other side. So if you wanna flip your paper to the other side and start either your illustration first or your ideas first, we'd love to see what you come up with. And we will post our pictures uh, once we're finished in the end too. So enjoy your Saturday, the first day of your spring break. And um, we hope that we can't wait to see some of your creative ideas. So um, see you later, alligators. Peace out.